Now, are you a singer or a musician? No, neither one. Excuse me. No, I'm, I'm just behind the scenes guy. He actually goes out and scouts bands, and then he signs them to his label, and um, he takes us to like these amazing places, these CD hole in the walls that you Sometimes. never know existed. That and... sounds really cool. It's not that cool. <laughs> she's it, building it up. It is cool. She's being sweet. Believe me, it's a lot more interesting than what Ron does. Oh. He makes boxes for a living. Cardboard containers. Okay, please. The cardboard mm -hmm. container. I'm a supervisor. Pretty oh, much boxes. Cool. Pretty much boxes. They're cardboard containers. Oh. I, I often use boxes. <sighs> the thing about my job is that it's in a state of flux. In fact, both both of our fields are kind of... We're little... in very similar positions. Yeah, but, but we do because we love it. We do it because we love it. So, Aaron, did you know he was coming in? No, he completely surprised me. Surprised me, too. <laughs> No one knew. And uh, and it was quite a surprise. But um, he uh, he surprised me at work with flowers. <gasps> yeah. Oh. Jesus well, Christ. It wasn't a big deal. I didn't, like, repel in from the helicopter. I just showed up. How come you never do that? Because <laughs> we, we live together, Karen. I know, but it's nice to show a gesture of appreciation. How long have you guys been together? It's been a long time Long now. time. Yeah. Oh, very cool. It's kind of like... You, when you get really drunk and you just kind of black out, you don't know how much time's gone by. I sort of have a similar feeling. Oh. Erin? Uh, Karen? Do you come help me in the kitchen? Yes, sir? Absolutely. Karen's gonna go assassinate your character. I'm gonna play defense. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Um. So, I... So, wait, uh, so, Ron, you make, uh, do you make all different sizes of boxes? Or do, do you have any idea of the trouble that you're sorry. causing us there, Chief? Ron, look, tell me, please tell me what's bothering you. I'll tell you what's bothering me there, bucko. You just caused a prime time problem between me and my wife. Now I gotta go home and listen to her complain that I don't do enough for her. <laughs> you think some effing sappy shit makes you a real boyfriend? I'm sorry, I stopped listening after bucko. Listen up. You're in the effing trenches here where the real hell happens, all right? And we're here every day. I it's not just about flowers and presents and showing up for the weekend. You think you can just come in here with your fake tan? Yeah. And your girl shirt? What? You think God. that's what it's like when you're married? When you're in a serious, long-term relationship? You yeah. think you're gonna be able to work out and keep that really nice ass of yours? No, you're not gonna be able to keep it.